I think one of the reasons that people get really excited about the metric system is that they hate doing conversions from one unit to another. Um, and I, I think that that's a little bit overblown because conversions are maybe annoying, but they're really easy to do. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do conversions. So the trick here, and the thing to keep in mind is that you can always multiply by one. All right, so why would you want to multiply by one that doesn't change anything? Well, let me give you an example. Okay, so let's say that you have um, 100 centimeters and you know that that equals one meter, okay? Well, if you know this conversion, then what you can do to convert, let's say um, 0 0.047 um, centimeters into meters is you can say, all right, well, I'm going to multiply by one. And the one is just going to be something divided by itself. So one meter divided by 100 centimeters. So one meter divided by 100 centimeters is just one because one meter and 100 centimeters are the same thing. Why do I want to do that? Well, the thing that that gets me is now I can cross out these centimeters because I have centimeters on the top and centimeters on the bottom. And that leaves me with just meters left over, which is what I wanted. So if I have 0 0.047 centimeters and I want to convert that into meters, I know I need to divide by 100. This trick helps you figure out whether you are multiplying by a certain number or dividing by that number. Um, you can look up a conversion, but if you don't know which way to go, then you're kind of stuck. Okay, so what that means is that this is then going to be 0 0.00047 meters. And there you go. You've done your conversion and that's the end of the story. Um, you know, some other ones that show up are, for instance, if you know there's 12 inches in one foot or 60 seconds in one minute, it's pretty easy to convert from one unit system to another. You don't have to, you know, feel like you can't do science if you don't have a metric ruler in front of you. Okay, so another example is let's say we want to know how many seconds are in a day. So we start with one day and we want to convert that into seconds. Well, I don't know how many seconds are in a day, but what I do know is that there are 24 hours in a day. So I'm going to multiply by 24 hours per one day. And I set this up so that the days cancel. I have days on top, day on bottom, and then those cancel. So now I have units of hours. Well, I know how many minutes are in an hour. So if I multiply this by one, which is going to be 60 minutes per hour, then the hours cancel. So hours cancel hours, and I'm left with minutes. All right, well, I know how many seconds are in a minute. So that's going to be 60 seconds per minute. And if I cancel the minutes, one on top, one on bottom, I'm left with seconds. Okay, so what does that mean? Well. Looking back across my calculation, I have one times 24, because it's on the top, times 60, times 60. Um, and that tells me how many seconds are in a day, because seconds are the only unit that hasn't canceled out. And then if I plug that into a calculator, then I get 86,400 seconds. So that's how many seconds are in a day. Um, another example, let's say that I wanted to convert 55 miles per hour into meters per second. Okay. Well, this one's a little trickier because I have units on the top and on the bottom. So I have to take it one step at a time. The first thing I'm going to do is convert the hours. So I could do hours to minutes and minutes to seconds, or I could just say, well, I know there are 3,600 seconds in an hour and use that. So one hour is 3,600 seconds. Okay. And I set it up this way so that the hours cancel. Right. Um, now, if I do this calculation, that gives me my miles per second, but I wanted meters per second. So I have to cancel out the miles. Now you probably would have to look up what the conversion for meters to miles is, but I happen to know that it's 1,609 meters per mile. Okay, and I um, set up my fraction this way so that the miles on top cancel the miles on bottom. Okay, so now what I'm left with is 55 times 1609 divided by 3600, and that will give me the speed in meters per second. And if I plug that in um, to a calculator, then what I get is roughly 25 meters per second. Okay, so that's a normal car speed, turns out. Um, one last example um, is if I wanted to convert one acre into meters squared. Okay, so an acre is a unit of land area, and so I should be able to convert that into square meters. Okay, so the fact that I have tucked away in the back of my brain for decades for no good reason is that one acre is one over 640 square miles. Okay, so one square mile is 640 acres. Okay, well, um, a square mile is um, really the same thing as saying I have one over 640 miles to the two power. Okay, And I know the conversion from miles to meters because I just used that in the last calculation. So I want to get rid of miles and have meters left over. So 1,609 meters per one mile. That will cancel one of the miles, but I have two miles on top. Okay, so I need to multiply by 1,609 meters per mile again. And so now one of the miles will cancel with this mile the other mile will cancel with this one. Okay, so I have gotten rid of all the miles and all I have left are meters. And so what that leaves me with is 1609 times 1609 divided by 640 meters squared. And if I plug that into a calculator, I get about 4,045 square meters per acre. 
Okay, so um, like I said, I think that this is kind of annoying to have to do, but like not actually that big of an inconvenience. If you know the conversions, then you just do it. If you have to look up the conversions, it's not that big a deal. Okay. Um, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but another trick that you can use is if you just type it into Google. Google is really smart at doing the conversions for you. So for example, you could say, all right, um, how many meters squared is one acre? And Google will just do it to you. Um, um, or you could say 55 miles per hour, two meters per second, and it will just do the conversion for you. Um, I do think that you should know how to do this by hand, but I don't think that it's important that you, you know, stress yourself out by always doing it by hand. Um, you have my permission to type conversions into Google for this class.